the the class where we talk about dogs and say hello. We do this every day. We just hang out with our dog and say hello for a half an hour. Do you want to try? Just kidding. Hello, 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 and welcome to Draw Together. This is Suso. And she is very, very patient. Hi, I'm Wendy Mack. What's your name? So, so happy to see you. Well, we are here in San Francisco. I'm here with Suso, who you just hung out with. Art assistant Caroline, say hi, art assistant Caroline. <laughs> She's extra shy. It's Wednesday. And we are here to draw together. We're in San Francisco. Where are you? Wow, that's so cool. We're all over the world. I see people in Wisp, in the Netherlands, in Sydney, Maine, in Campeche, in Mexico, Lima, Peru, and Athens, Greece. Wow. <sighs> Draw together is all over the world. It is pretty darn cool. Well, we are so, so, so happy to all be together today and draw. So let's see, what do we gotta do to start off? Well, we gotta get our home studio set up. I have a little bit of coffee with me today because it's just that kind of Wednesday. Uh, maybe you have a snack too. Let's see, we have, what do we need? Home studio, do you have a pencil? Do you have a pen? Either it will do. Some paper, what else do we need? Some color, if you have any color, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. We got some paints, we got some pens, we got some colored pencils, we got our little mess here. We clean it up after class. There's no rules in art, except we clean up. But other than that, no rules in art. So what do you do on a Wednesday? How's everybody's Wednesday feeling? Let's do a quick weather check. <sighs> weather check. That's where we look at the weather and we say, what weather do we feel like? I feel, <sighs> I feel like pretty sunny with a little cloud over it. Got a little cloud. How about you? How's your weather? Mm. Lots of different kind of weather systems going on. Yeah, generally on a Wednesday, there seems to be a little bit of a, a lull, a little bit of fog. So I thought we'd do a little warm up to get our, our drawing blood going. So you know how we do lots of drawings of circles? We're gonna do a little, a little silly dance, warm up, drawing dance. That's gonna get us through this Wednesday hump. Shall we? Stand up with me, my friends. Stand up. stand up with me, my, stand up with me, my friends. Thank you very much, thank you. Okay, ready? All right, so now let's imagine we have a pencil in each hand, okay? And we're going to make little tiny little dots, little dots, and then we're gonna make little tiny little circles with both, just with our fingers, little tiny little circles of pencils. Tick -tick 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 -tick. Now let's start making a little bit bigger. Let's use our wrists. Two circles with our wrists going around. Now, with the elbows. Now we're making two bigger circles using our elbows. We're drawing with our whole elbow. This is kind of a weird way to draw, but it's so fun. Pretty silly. This is the, oh, it looks silly, right? Okay, now let's go with the, let's go with the, what are these called? Shoulders, shoulders, big drawing circles, as big as you can. Now, how can we get bigger? I don't know. Maybe if we are a pencil and we draw in a circle, oh my God. Okay, trying to maintain composure here. Not really working, but that's okay because we're drawing a big circle. <gasps> Deep breath in. <sighs> Deep breath out. Imagine the circles that are all around us. I can't believe it. So cool. Shake it out, shake it out. <sighs> all right, good job. All right, ready to draw? Shall we begin? All right, come on, let's go over here. Let's sit back down. We've got our drawing blood going. I think we got some good Wednesday vibes. Let's keep going with those circles. So we do our Linda Berry circle spiral yesterday, which is a slow one. But since we got a lot of energy going, I think it might be a good idea to keep going with that. 
But let's start in the middle and let's do fast. I'm feeling fast. All right, you drawing with me? Just put that pencil down and just start making some circles. Remember how we were using our fingers? Let's use our fingers at first, just our fingers. Now let's start using our wrists, our whole wrists. See, I'm using a whole wrist. Now I'm gonna start getting bigger. I'm gonna start using my whole arm. Can you draw? Draw faster, draw faster. Go, 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 go. Draw faster, draw, draw faster. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Out of control, I can't stop, I can't stop. Now the other way. Okay, start, start small, start small. Go back, go back. Fingers only, fingers only. Okay, now wrists, now wrists. Yep, go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster. Now you're up, now you're up. Go around, go around, go around, 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 around. Go, 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 go <laughs> so much motion, so much motion going on. When we draw so many times, we're kind of like, we're tight in there and we're like trying to make everything right. No such thing as right or wrong. It's just all about moving and making marks on the page. And this is the way we can get a lot of motion going. Use all our arms, use all our fingers and wrists. Show a lot of motion. Good job. How are we feeling? It's good? Yeah? Do you feel like you got some, some drawn blood flowing into your Shoulders all the way down to your fingers? Me too. I'm feeling good. All right. So, can I see yours? <laughs> so much motion. <laughs> so much mo. I can feel all the energy. Whew, it's like we got a lot of energy up and then put it out onto the page. That's good. Anytime also that we're feeling, you remember we make the slow ones, we want to kind of calm down. If you want to get some energy going and get kind of feeling fun, this is a good way to do that too. I like doing that. Okay. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it over, flip side, and use back side for the next turn. Okay. Now that we have properly warmed up, we've exercised from our heads to our toes, we've gotten our blood flowing, we've made some marks on the page. Who here is feeling ready to take? A Wednesday field trip. Yes. All right. So who remembers what the theme of this week is? We're drawing all week home. Yes. Yesterday we drew a yellow experts. Bird's nest. Nice. Yes. Bird's nest. Now birds build their own nests, right? They stitch everything together and we did that in our drawing. Today we thought it'd be fun if we learned how to build our own nests, so to speak. We thought it would be fun to build some tree houses. What? Who here's built a tree house? A couple of you. Yeah. Well, for those of us who have not built a tree house, the first thing we have to learn to do is to learn how to actually build. So we thought that we'd take a field trip to talk to an expert who teach us how to build. Shall we? Let's get on the magic yellow school bus and take a field trip. Hi everybody, I'm Emily from Girls Garage. Come on in. I love building so much and my friend Wendy said you're drawing tree houses. So I thought I could show you some of the most important tools for building a tree house. First, you're gonna need to cut some wood. I'm gonna use my chop saw, but maybe at home you can use a hand saw like this. Remember to always wear your safety glasses and have an adult or parent to help you. Next, we need to attach our wood and we can use a hammer and nails for that. Keep your eye on the nail and swing away. Another way you can attach wood is with a drill and a driver. I'm going to use my drill to make a hole and my driver to put in my screw. Wow. Once my 
treehouse is high up in the sky, I can use a level to make sure my floor is nice and flat. When my bubble is right in between these lines, I know everything is level. I can't wait to see the tree houses you draw. Maybe next time we can do something else to spark your interest in building. how to build stuff, how to build our tree houses. That was so amazing. All right, do we feel like we learned the basics there? Yeah? What was number one? Safety first. Look, drawing is, is no joke. Drawing is a really serious, dangerous kind of activity. You never know what might happen. Sparks flying all over, always be prepared. If we're drawing tree houses, we gotta draw tree houses. Ready to draw a tree house? Come on, let's do it. I'm actually gonna put on my other glasses though. <laughs> All right, tree house time. So I'm gonna start with a basic tree and you can just follow along. So let's do a line at the bottom right there. It's kind of our ground, okay? And remember, I'm gonna draw this one way, but there's so many different ways to draw a treehouse. That's kind of the fun is that each one is different and it's however you wanna do it. So there's no right or wrong. You can do kind of the basics with me and then go off on your own. Or you can just follow along, whatever you like. It's your drawing. So here's the base of our tree. This is our tree trunk. Basic kind of triangle. And let's see, let's see the tree. Remember when we drew trees, they go up a little bit and then they split off. Right, maybe into just like three big branches. We're just gonna draw our basic tree here so that we have a place to put our tree house. You draw kind of basic tree, big poofy all around, a few chunks. Okay, good? Okay, I think our tree house could probably go just like a bird's nest that's right in the corner in the in the crook of it right there. Let's put our tree house right, build it right up here. Looks like a good place to put it. So I'm just gonna make a box right in the middle. Just kind of the basic where it's gonna go. Then I gotta start thinking, okay, if we're down here and our tree house is up here, what goes along here? Well, I was thinking what could be cool would be before we draw some way to get up there, what if we made a semicircle that goes just like this? What if we built an awesome wooden platform? We could build it just by nailing it, I think, right there. And this way, we would have a place to get up onto and then climb up into that. What do you think? Yeah? Okay, so that's just your platform. But in order to get up on the platform, we definitely need to do that. How are we gonna do that? How do we get up from here to here? Yeah. I'm gonna put a ladder, which is just two lines coming from down below up. I'm doing this with my pencil, but you could also do it with a pen or go straight to your paints or your markers. The ladder's just two lines, and then these are the rungs that go across. Low to high. So you climb up here, and then you get on your platform. What do you do on the platform? This is very important. What's the platform? I mean, it could be anything. It could be your kitchen. It could be, you could have like a place to sleep up here. You could have, I don't know. Well, you guys know what we're doing in this class. So I thought I'd put a table right here and make this my little art studio. I'm gonna put a little circle here. And then this is just a person sitting here behind the table. A little art studio. That's pretty cool. Let's see. 
maybe what else from get to get up here oh well yeah to get up to here how do we do that we got to build another ladder 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 ladders are so fun to draw because you can make them going in any direction and it's cool because you climb up here, come up here, come up here, come up here, come up here. So we climb up to the house. All right, now we have our house. Now that we've gotten up here, how about we draw what? Oh, a door is probably a good idea. Do a door. Cool. How about on either side? We drew some houses before. What else did we draw when, you, when we did your house? Some windows. You can put a couple windows on your tree house if you like. And then what shape could the house be? It could be, we could have like a peaked roof, like a triangle. Or remember we did a, we did a shape that was round that was pretty fun before. Would it be possible, do you think, to build a round dome tree house? I mean, I think so. Why not? If you want to build a triangle one or a star-shaped one or any one, you can make your tree house any shape you want. I'm gonna build this and let's see. You know what? I think maybe it needs a flag. I'll put a flag here. I think it needs a flag here on the other side too. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's see, I think we got, so this is actually pretty cool already. Up, little art area, up, house area. We could build, I mean, Emily showed us how to build and drill. So we could put a pretty good platform that could go and extend off on either side, I think. So why not build out? What could go over here? I'm taking, I'm taking um, suggestions. Anything we want, anything we want. I okay. I mean, I heard bouncy castle. I'm into that. I am. That is so fun. <laughs> bouncy castle. Maybe we put a net underneath <laughs> because we don't want to fall out of bouncy castle. This is fun because we can really do anything. If we were actually building with the hammer and the nails and the drills and the drivers, we you know would take a little more planning but when we draw we can just make it be anything we want let's see here's a person bouncing ah, we can make a bouncing on the castle let's see and how about over here how about Let's see, you know what? Something that I miss, maybe you miss too, is going to the water. Whether that's like a pool or something. Why don't we make a pool right here? Put an umbrella. It'd be nice to be outside again and be out having some fun with our friends and in the sun, huh? Maybe we can swimming. Swimming. Let's see what else. All right. So we have a house. We have a bouncy castle. We have a pool. We have, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, I mean, come on. Nothing is, I mean, no tree house is complete without a super giant slide. So I'm going to do, if you want to do a slide with me, you can just make the loops like we were drawing. And it comes down loop, 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 straight through, loop, loop. Loop, and then make a to make a um a slide. We just make two lines. We just kind of copy the other line and do a line right next to it. Goes around. How's that working? Some of you don't want to have a slide. That's fine too. And if I'm going a little bit fast, that's okay. You can stay and basically, you could just build your tree and the house in the tree with a ladder. And that is the coolest tree house ever.
This is a pretty, you know, this is a pretty fancy one. And that's fun. But if you want to do a simple one, or just even make a tree with a bird in it, that's great, because that's a tree house for a bird. I mean, let's not be animalist here, right? All right. What else we got going on here? Do we need a sign? I think we definitely need a sign. All tree houses need a sign. Need a sign here. What's it gonna say? What does it say? Okay, I heard somebody say keep out, but you know what, like that's fine, but that's a different class, okay? This is draw together, not draw alone in my tree house with nobody else, okay? This is draw together. So, how about like, come in. I like that. And then I think we need one more thing and then we're gonna color. I think we need like an insignia. We need like a logo. We need something that tells everybody who we are and what we do here. This is draw together. So I'm gonna draw a pencil. I'm gonna draw our pencil mustache pencil. And I'm going to draw a paintbrush that we sometimes use to color, which we will do in a moment. And this becomes the tree house. Of draw together. And you can come in anytime. Let's paint. <laughs> I think I just got really excited to paint. All right. Actually, before we paint, I just want to check in and see where you're at with yours. Can I see yours? Can I see where you're at? So cool. So many different. I see so many things that are that are similar, and you also went off in your own direction too. We have so many great tree houses all over the world. I am coming over and climbing up in your tree house today. I hope you don't mind. If there's a weird knock at the door, it's me. It'll be me. All right, let's paint. First thing you want to do is let's get back to that tree because the most important thing about our tree house, let's get real, is the tree. If we don't have a tree, we don't have a house. So I'm just going to color in the tree. Just give the tree trunk a little bit of love, a little bit of brown, good healthy tree. Maybe it's an old oak that has seen many of us kids over the years. It's like, oh no, here we go. Another tree house. But then they're always happy to hold us up. And I'm gonna go a little bit more. And I'm gonna do some of the branches that we drew here. They're just gonna go right behind, right behind our tree house, just so we know it's there so we feel secure in our treehouse. All right, now let's get some green. Let's get some leafiness to put up there. I'm just gonna do some pretty simple, just some leafy squiggles. Leafy squiggles that are going to show us that we are not floating in outer space in our treehouse, but that we're in fact in a tree. Yep. Okay, just basic. That's it, we can come back and fill that in later. But now let's get to, let's get to doing the treehouse. So I think it'd be fun to make it kind of bright colors. Imagine that we painted it. So I would say that the bouncy castle has definitely got to be a red. I mean, because it's a bouncy castle. I've never really seen a bouncy castle that's like a, you know, kind of dull color. Why? Because it's a bouncy castle and it's awesome. And then how about that pool? Generally, pool, water, blue. See how my paints are kind of like... When I put blue in, it's not really turning blue. It's turning kind of a purpley color. That's because I have not cleaned out my paints in a while. What's the one rule of um, art? Yes, we clean up after. So I'm gonna follow my own rule today. And when we meet again, you won't even recognize this paint set. All right, let's go up here. I'm gonna make this yellow. I'm gonna make our our big clubhouse that all are welcome to, yellow. 
Is it still a club if all are welcome? Yeah, totally. It's just the coolest kind of club, that's all. Best kind of club. Mm -hmm. those flags up there I'm going really really fast so I don't expect that everybody at home is going as fast as I am here I just am doing this so you can kind of see where it's gonna go and if you want to keep going after class I think it would be super great to see how yours evolves with color and with shape and with all of the different stuff, gosh, it was really, this is a very ambitious one we did today, huh? Sometimes we do easier things. I don't want to say easier, but sometimes we do things that are pretty basic, like, you know, here's how to draw a dog, right? And then sometimes we go off and we try something new. And it can be a little more challenging. It can move a little faster can be a little bit mm, more a mm, little more all over the place a little bit you know experimental but that's cool because that's art too sometimes it's not about learning to do something right it's about trying new stuff today we're trying this and make these ladders last thing I'm going to do really quickly just because I really want to is I'm just going to paint our little insignia right here because I think it's awesome and I really like having a little insignia with you guys because I think that's fun no big deal just draw together insignia kind of awesome well this tree really is very loose <laughs> It definitely went really fast. We went really fast with that. How was that for you? That was a little different, huh? <laughs> yeah, for me too. For me too. It was different. We kind of went off on our own and did lots of fun stuff, but I feel like we learned a lot. I learned um, how to put some wood together and how to build it, how to hammer, how to nail, how to uh, um, saw and how to drill and drive. And I learned about safety and I learned that if you hold a thing it sparks really brightly and hopefully Emily Pilliton will come back and show us what that awesome thing was thank you girls garage that was so cool so neat that we can learn all that stuff thanks for teaching us and we turned it into an awesome tree house using those tools but defies all gravity so you can continue to draw and put anything you want in your tree house it can go up you can keep building it or you can leave it how it is. But before you do, can I see what you did? Can we do a show? Yeah? Okay. Ready? One, two, three, show. Wow! Oh, look at all those tree houses all over the world in all those trees. So many different fun things going on. I see bouncy castles and pools. I also see slides. I see rope swings. I see baskets that go up. I see a periscope. That's awesome. I see so many different imaginations coming out on the page, coming out in your tree house. That is so neat. Thanks for trying something new with me today. That was really fun. Building stuff is new and this was, anyway, that was a lot of fun. Thank you. All right. Let's see, if you wanna share your tree house, you can keep working on it, you can leave it as it is. Um, you can take a picture, hashtag it draw together, put it up on Instagram so everybody can see it. And let me see, uh, we have another exciting day tomorrow, so see you then. But until then, uh, what do we say? Am I forgetting anything? I mean, I can't, am I forgetting anything? Can you, does anybody know what I'm forgetting? Anybody? Every, everything is better when we draw together. See you tomorrow.